Ever feel like you're a human spotlight, attracting curious glances wherever you go? Is it a compliment or a weird vibe? Well, fret no more. Today we're cracking the code on why you might be turning heads in your direction. Ever walk into a room and feel like all eyes are on you? It's not that you're wearing a neon jumpsuit, although, hey, if that's your thing, you rock it. There's a certain frequency you vibrate at that turns heads, and that is the first reason people start to stare. Whether you have a naturally high vibrational level or are actively raising it, people around you can sense it. It has a gravitational pull of its own, and people are attracted to this invisible field that they feel affecting them. You have tuned yourself to a higher frequency radiating positivity like a human lighthouse. That high frequency acts like a beacon attracting others who resonate with similar frequencies and others who aspire to have it. People can't help but be drawn to your captivating energy. It's magnetic and has a way of sparking curiosity, especially in those who are also seeking to elevate their own vibration. You might just inspire them to tune into their own inner light. The next fits you perfectly as well, for it is because of the unique person that only you are. Forget blending into the background like wallpaper. You weren't made for beige or boring. There's a boldness in the way you carry yourself, a refusal to be ordinary. Your unique style is a walking declaration. Hey world, here I am. It's not just the clothes you wear, it's the confidence you exude, the way you move with an energy that's all your own. This irresistible combination of individuality and vibrant energy makes you impossible to ignore. People can't help but steal glances your way. You're a captivating mix of awesome and a walking masterpiece that leaves a lasting impression. Next, let's talk about the detectives checking you out because that is exactly what they are trying to be and figure you out. It's not a missing button on your shirt they're analyzing, although maybe double check just in case. They're captivated by the silent language you radiate. You're a natural communicator, not just with words, but with your entire presence. Your body language becomes a conversation, each posture and gesture conveying confidence and charisma. These individuals are enthralled by the mystery and they work their hardest to find out what exactly makes you tick. So the next time someone locks eyes with you for a beat too long, don't panic. They might not be a creepy stranger, but a fellow observer trying to figure you out. Curious about the energy you project and how you navigate the world, they're subconsciously trying to pick up on your cues. Hold on, there's more to the story. Not all stares are created equal. Sometimes they can feel a little creepy. Let's see why. Now let's be honest, sometimes people stare because they find you attractive. It can feel awkward, especially if the attention is unwanted. A quick way to gauge the situation is by their body language. Are they holding eye contact confidently with a hint of a smile, or do they seem nervous, avoiding eye contact altogether? If the gaze feels flattering, take it as a compliment. A simple smile back acknowledges their appreciation while remaining friendly and approachable. However, if the stare feels intrusive, hold eye contact for a beat longer than feels comfortable, then politely look away. This firm but non-confrontational approach usually discourages unwanted attention. Remember, you're a total package, beautiful inside and out. Let your confidence shine through and you'll navigate any situation with grace. Ever feel like you're starring in a one-person show and the only audience member seems mildly disinterested? It's not that you're auditioning for a toothpaste commercial, although with your smile you totally could. You might have simply captured the attention of someone with limited entertainment options. Believe it or not, some people are just bored and resort to people watching. Maybe they're stuck in a long line, waiting at a bus stop, or their dates taking forever in the restroom. In these moments of mind-numbing inactivity, anything moving becomes vaguely interesting. So if you catch someone staring who seems more glazed over than captivated, don't take it personally. They might just be looking for a boredom breaker in the grand theatre of everyday life. 
You might just be the most interesting thing they've seen all day, or maybe not, but hey, at least you're breaking the monotony. Next, we will get into the ones that can lead to some internal uneasiness, like catching someone staring with a gaze that feels off. It's not that you have a giant neon question mark above your head, although sometimes it feels that way. They might be grappling with a not-so-positive emotion. Envy. Maybe you have a knack for handling challenges that make others well a tad envious. They see your strength and wonder what your secret is. This jealousy can show up as stares that linger a little too long, often accompanied by furrowed brows or pursed lips. While a little envy is normal, if the stare makes you uncomfortable, it's best to remove yourself from the situation. An excuse to use the restroom, grab a coffee, or simply continue walking can politely break eye contact. Remember, your confidence and success are your own, and there's no need to feel obligated to an unwanted audience. Hold your head high, and don't let someone else's envy dim your shine. Lastly, we get to that point where someone locks onto you with an intense stare like a heat ray searching for weakness. It's not a scene straight out of a sci-fi movie, although with your confidence you could totally rock that genre. This stare feels deliberate and seriously unsettling. This intense glare, which we'll call the intimidation beam, is a way of trying to make you feel small or awkward. The person wielding it might be attempting to assert dominance or make you uncomfortable. This stare usually occurs after the envy stare has been prolonged enough to make them feel unworthy of something in their own lives. It has built up to a point where it's now negatively extruding from their very being and they feel they must act more hostile to show you how wrong or bad you are. If you get this creepy vibe, trust your gut. This isn't the time for a heroic stance. Remember, your safety is paramount. The best course of action is to simply walk away and break eye contact. Engaging with someone who thrives on making others feel uncomfortable is never worth the risk. You know who you are and the wonderful light inside yourself. Don't let anyone, not even a stranger, with a mean stare take that away. So, the next time someone locks eyes with you, don't overthink it. Think about the reasons behind the stare. Most importantly, keep shining your light and don't let anyone dim your bright, beautiful self. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up button and subscribe for more. Or let me know in the comments what weird reasons you've noticed people staring at you for. Until next time.